Steroids um, are a class of naturally occurring or synthetic fat-soluble compounds that share a common carbon skeleton arranged in four rings. So that's the technical definition of steroids. So they are a class of naturally occurring or synthetic. And what that means is that they're found in nature in both plants and animals, or synthetic means that they can be made in the, in the chemical laboratory. Fat-soluble means that they dissolve in um, fats, um, in oils and fats, and um, also it, within what we consider the fat family of biochemicals. Um, but their common um, um, structural characteristic is that they have four rings. <clears throat> so remember, this is a line angle drawing, <clears throat> line angle drawing, of what all of the part of the molecule that all steroids have in common. This molecule itself, as drawn, is not actually <clears throat> any one steroid, but this is the common feature. This four ring system is the common feature that's found in all compounds that we would consider to fall into the family <clears throat> of molecules called steroids. The letters A, B, C, and D are used to represent the different rings. There's um, three six-membered carbon rings and one five-membered ring. And when you're talking about, um, you know, adding functional groups or taking off functional groups or, or somehow chemically modifying steroids, uh, the chemists refer to um, like AC2 or something like that, which would be talking about the second carbon um, on the A ring, that sort of a thing. So that's what the letters are for, is just um, to keep track of which ring you're talking about. Okay, so there's a lot of different um, compounds that fall under the classification of steroids. We're going to take a look at a few of them today. So this is just a, a, sh a table of a sampling of, of some of the steroids that are available both naturally and synthetically. And the first steroid, or excuse me, yeah, the first steroid we're going to talk about is actually cholesterol. Cholesterol is considered a steroid, and for many of the other steroids that are um, produced in the body, cholesterol is what's called the starting material. Um, cholesterol will be converted to one of the other naturally occurring uh, steroids. So, for example, um, Testosterone starts off as cholesterol and then is converted. Estradiol is, starts off as cholesterol and then the body, um, when needed, will convert it to the estradiol. All right, so um, some steroids serve structural functions, such as the cholesterol has a structural component of cell membranes, and some steroids serve as hormones, chemical messengers. All right, so let's take a look first at cholesterol. Cholesterol, here's a both, here's two different um, formulas. This is more of a structural formula, and this is the line angle drawing with all the carbons and hydrogens left off. And um, you can see, you can find in this structure the four carbon ring system. Here's one, two, three, four of the carbons in the four carbon ring system, um, which is the common characteristic. Okay. So cholesterol, a lot of times we hear that cholesterol is bad for you, you, know, you should avoid cholesterol, but your body synthesizes cholesterol all the time, and it's a very, very important um, biochemical uh, in the body because it's the starting material for so many of the other um, steroids. It also serves a very important function in maintaining the integrity of cell membranes. So cholesterol is a really, really important biochemical. The problem is, is if your body produces too much of it, some people just naturally have high cholesterol levels, or if you consume too many foods high in cholesterol, it can be bad for you, okay, because um, uh, collect in your arteries and veins and cause hardening of the arteries. All right, but what structurally what you should notice about this is the reason why it dissolves in fats or is fat soluble or would dissolve in oil and not water is because most of the structure is a hydrocarbon. Um, all of this part of the structure is hydrocarbon, and there's just one little bit of a polar end. And you know in cell membranes, the phospholipids that make up cell membranes have um, a nonpolar non tail and a polar head. So in the membrane, this little polar bit would arrange itself near the polar parts of the cell membrane, and then this long hydrocarbon part would embed itself down into the membrane. Okay, so let's take a look at, at what this um, molecule looks like from our, oops, here we go. 
let's take a look at this particular molecule. Um, let me see here. This is a, a um, ball and stick model of uh, cholesterol. You can see, see if you can find the rings. There they are. There's one, two, three, four. There's the five-membered ring right there. There's the hydrocarbon chain portion. And over here you see the one little part that is um, hydrophilic or polar, just this one alcohol group over here. Right, so the molecule itself is mostly, um, you know, nonpolar. Just taking a look at this. This is the space filling model. Okay, and you can take a look here um, at this big hydrocarbon, basically. Okay, and this is the side view. And flip it around. Flip it around, and you can see the rings better. Okay, so this would be the ring structure part of it right here, the rings, because the, the OH, remember, was on one of the six-member rings. So the rings are just kind of going down through here. It's not completely planar. Steroid is cholesterol.